So Mighty Goose released last year on PC, Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation. Now it's a run and gun shooter with incredible animation and over the top action. Very much like what you would expect from the Metal Slug series. Now currently there is no word of a physical release, but I would bet money on it releasing physically one day, at least on the Switch and PlayStation side of things. But just a few weeks ago, we had a free DLC update, which adds a new playable area that has new enemies, new level mechanics, new bosses, a submarine, and a surfing stage that is so satisfying to play. My main complaint is that the game feels a bit short, and I think that's why they decided to pad it out with that free DLC update. I think if they could do one more free DLC, it would be perfect. But the nice thing is that since they haven't released a physical game for this yet, they could still include the update with a physical release if they even choose to go physical. Now even though I compared this with Metal Slug earlier, I actually think it's better than Metal Slug. Yes, you have the standard stuff that you might expect from Metal Slug, a regular gun with unlimited ammo, but then you also have multiple gun pickups with limited ammo like rockets, shotguns, machine guns. You've got multiple types of vehicles to commandeer and lots of destruction and really well animated sprite art. But in Mighty Goose, you play as a... No, but seriously, first of all, in Mighty Goose, we have a stage select screen. Uh, so you could replay missions as many times as you want to try for higher ranks. Heck, try for an S rank in all missions if you're feeling up to it. Now, as you complete certain goals in the game, you'll also unlock new special attacks, power-up toggles, and buddies to assist you in combat. So unlock more of this stuff, then go back to some of those earlier levels and you'll have an easier time. As you defeat enemies, you'll pick up coins, which can be used to call in supply or vehicle drops at any time during the level, even during boss battles. And even though I thought the game was a little short, there is that new area added from the recent update, and there is a new game plus, which increases the difficulty, but still lets you keep all of your unlocked power-ups. And you can switch back and forth between the new game plus and regular game levels anytime, if you want to try for those higher ranks, as I've mentioned before. Now, my only other minor complaint besides the length of the game is that occasionally the screen will stop scrolling to let you clear out some enemies first. Now, this is standard with a lot of arcade action games, but in Mighty Goose, when you clear all those enemies out and regain control over the camera view of the screen, it will instantly jump to your current position rather than panning smoothly. This comes off feeling a little wonky, especially when put next to the smooth professional feel of the rest of the game. But again, just a minor complaint, it doesn't ruin the experience by any means. Also, I should point out, you can have a couch co-op partner join in as a second player. Now, they will take control of whichever buddy assistant you have selected, and they will be invincible. So it's great if you have someone over that's not as experienced in gaming, like if you have a younger sibling or a kid, it's perfect for someone like that to just join in and play with you and you don't have to worry about them using up all your VR lives or anything like that. And speaking of lives, you do have unlimited lives in this, so when you are defeated, you'll just start back at the most recent checkpoint or you can go back to the stage select screen. Occasionally, when you take down a bunch of enemies at once, the game will intentionally slow down to let you savor your victory and cherish the destruction around you. The sound effects and music, animation, and big bosses all do a bang up job of making this feel like a true arcade classic. So if you really wanna take in the experience, plug in an arcade stick if you have one. I highly recommend it. Again, Mighty Goose is available on PC, Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. As of this video, it's also currently on Game Pass, Otherwise, MSRP for this digital release is 20 US dollars. If you like Metal Slug, I think you would like this one too, but it is a bit easier to get through. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I will see you later.